Hello everyone, now let us discuss about ICD-10CM codes for heart failure. In the current session, we will be focusing on the pathophysiology of heart failure and the various ICD-10CM codes associated with heart failure. Now, coming to the definition of heart failure, heart failure is a chronic progressive condition in which heart muscle is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs or can do so only at elevated filling pressures. Sometimes it is described as a condition where hardening and stiffening of the heart muscle itself blocks or reduces the blood flow to the heart. Heart failure can affect the right or the left side of your heart or both at the same time. It can be either an acute condition which is short term or a chronic ongoing condition. Usually in acute heart failure, the symptoms appear suddenly but go away fairly quick. And this condition often occurs after a heart attack. It may also have been resulted because of the problem with heart valves that control the blood flow in the heart. In case of chronic heart failure, the symptoms are continuous and do not improve over time. And vast majority cases of heart failure are chronic. Coming to the symptoms. Based on the cause, heart failure symptoms are categorized into two types. The symptoms associated with forward failure are fatigue, dizziness, muscle weakness and shortness of breath. Usually low cardiac output leads to forward failure. And the symptoms associated with backward failure are peripheral or pulmonary edema, maldigestion and Asides. Usually increased filling pressure leads to backward failure. Now coming to the general symptoms of heart failure. The general symptoms of heart failure are excessive fatigue, sudden weight gain, loss of appetite, persistent coughing, regular pulse, heart palpitations, protruding neck veins, abdominal swelling, shortness of breath, leg and ankle swelling. Coming to the types of heart failure. Majorly used classification is based on the ejection fraction. And based on ejection fraction, the heart failure is categorized into two types. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. And the next is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. R here indicates reduced and P indicates preserved. Usually the ejection fraction is greater than 50%. Whenever the ejection fraction is less than 50%, it leads to heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. It is also called as systolic heart failure. Whenever the ejection fraction is greater than 50%, it is called as heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. That is, the ejection fraction is normal. Hence the term preserved. And this is also called as diastolic heart failure. Now coming to the ICD-10 CM code series. Codes from the category I-50, it deals with heart failure. It is a three digit code and it is further subcategorized. The fourth digit of the code indicates type of heart failure. Whereas the fifth digit indicates chronicity. As you can see here, the fourth digit 2 indicates systolic heart failure and the star mark indicates it is further subcategorized. The final code is I50.20. Here 0 is the fifth digit or the fifth character and 0 indicates unspecified. That is it is not specified as acute or chronic. Now, coming to the various codes, heart failure. As I have said, the fourth digit indicates type. So, for addressing left ventricular heart failure, we code I50.1. This code is not further subcategorized. For left ventricular failure unspecified, the code is I50.1. For systolic heart failure, it is I50.2 series. It is further subcategorized. 
For diastolic heart failure, it is I50.3. For combined systolic and diastolic heart failure, it is I50.4. And for other heart failure, it is I50.8. And for unspecified heart failure, it is I50.9. This is also a final code. Now, as we have discussed earlier, the fifth digit indicates chronicity. Zero indicates zero in the fifth position. I50.20 indicates unspecified systolic heart failure. Whereas one in the fifth digit indicates acute. I50.21 indicates acute systolic heart failure. We all know that I50.2 series deals with systolic heart failure. So I50.20 is unspecified systolic heart failure. Whereas I50.21 is acute systolic heart failure. And two in the fifth digit indicates chronic. One indicates acute, two indicates chronic and three indicates acute on chronic. So I50.21 indicates acute heart failure because the fifth digit or the final digit is one. And I50.22 indicates chronic systolic heart failure. Whereas I50.23 indicates acute on chronic systolic heart failure. So as we have discussed earlier, systolic heart failure types of codes are unspecified systolic heart failure is I50.20, acute systolic heart failure is I50.21, chronic systolic heart failure is I50.22 and acute on chronic systolic heart failure is I50.23. Now coming to diastolic heart failure, it is indicated with I50.3 series. Similar to systolic heart failure, I50.30 indicates unspecified diastolic heart failure. I50.31 indicates acute diastolic heart failure. I50.32 indicates chronic diastolic heart failure. I50.33 indicates acute on chronic diastolic heart failure. Coming to I50.4 series. It indicates combined systolic and diastolic heart failure. I50.40 indicates unspecified systolic and diastolic heart failure. I50.41 indicates acute systolic and diastolic heart failure. I50.42 indicates chronic systolic and diastolic heart failure. I50.43 indicates acute on chronic systolic and diastolic heart failure. Coming to I50.8 series, it deals with other heart failures. For right heart failure, the series is I50.81. It is further categorized. That is, it is not the final code. It is further divided. Right heart failure is indicated with I50.81 series. Biventricular heart failure is indicated with I50.82. High output heart failure is indicated with I50.83. End stage heart failure is indicated with I50.84. Other heart failure is indicated with I50.89. Coming to right heart failure, it is indicated with the series I50.81. Unspecified right heart failure is, the code for unspecified right heart failure is I50.810. Here, a sixth additional character is given in case of right heart failure. So, 0 indicates unspecified, 1 indicates acute, 2 indicates chronic and 3 indicates acute on chronic. For only right heart failure, there is an additional 6th digit or 6th character with 0, 1, 2, 3. So, for unspecified heart failure, the code is I50.810. Unspecified right heart failure, the code is I50.810. For acute right heart failure, the code is I50.811. And for chronic right heart failure, the code is I50.812. For acute and chronic, the right heart failure is I50.813. Now, coming to the next topic, Hypertension with heart failure. 
usually the codes for hypertension will be dealt in detail in another session here we are only talking about hypertension with heart failure because we have a combination code whenever hypertension is associated with heart failure we need to code from i11.0 series instead of the regular i10 for essential hypertension in addition to this i11.0 series we need to code the type of heart failure as secondary diagnosis or sdx as we have discussed earlier hypertension with heart conditions classified to i50 series are assigned to a code category from i11 hypertensive heart usually we code additional codes from the category i50 that is heart failure to identify the type of heart failure in addition to i11 series we code heart failure codes also as sdx now let us discuss an example in this case a patient visits for regular follow up past medical history of bm on metformin heart failure with reduced ejection fraction hypertension on amlodipine no other complaints today and comes for medication refill here the reason for visit is medication refill so either you can code bm as prx or hypertension as prx so the following codes are assigned for this particular case the first code is e11.9 series whenever the type of diabetes mellitus is not mentioned we need to code e11.9 type 2 diabetes is taken by default so now coming to our hypertensive heart code because hypertension is associated with heart failure here we are coding a code from i11.0 series which is nothing but hypertensive heart with heart failure i11.0 is hypertensive heart with heart failure or hypertensive heart in addition to this i11.0 code we need to code the type of heart failure code which is i50.20 because the heart failure type is reduced ejection fraction heart failure with reduced ejection fraction so the code is i50.20 so whenever we code type 2 diabetes mellitus we need to code the long term drug use whether he is on oral anti diabetic drugs or on insulin so because he is on metformin we need to code an additional code from the category z79.84 which is nothing but long term current use of oral anti diabetic drugs so this is a complete code list for this particular scenario now coming to next example here the patient is diabetic and diagnosed with systolic heart failure the past medical history of patient is hypertension and hyperlipidemia he is on lantus metformin and statin statin and no other complaints today the medications are refit here also the reason for visit is medication refit so you can code either hypertension or dm as pdx as we have discussed earlier whenever the type of diabetes mellitus is not mentioned you need to code from the category e11.9 which is nothing but type 2 diabetes mellitus in addition the patient is hypertensive with heart failure so you need to code i11.0 and the type of heart failure is systolic heart failure the code for systolic heart failure is same i50.20 and it has unspecified on the chronicity they did not mention with that is chronic or acute hence you need to code unspecified systolic heart failure code which is nothing but i50.20 the code for hyperlipidemia is e78.5 and as i have discussed earlier long term drug use so he is on lantus lantus is nothing but insulin and metformin is oral anti diabetic drug so you need to code both codes z79.4 for long term current use of insulin and z79.84 for long term current use of oral anti diabetic drugs coming to next example patient is hypertensive and diagnosed with diastolic heart failure here the codes are i11.0 and i50.30 which is nothing but heart failure with preserved ejection fraction 
और एच एफ पी एफ और डायस्टोलिक हार्ट फेलियर द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज द पेशेंट इज हाइपर टेंसिव एंड डायग्नाइज विथ कंबाइंड सिस्टोलिक एंड डायस्टोलिक हार्ट फेलियर हियर द कोड्स आर I11.0. In addition to that, the code for combined systolic and diastolic heart failure unspecified, which is nothing but I50.40, unspecified combined and systolic diastolic, systolic and diastolic heart failure. By this, we complete the topic heart failure. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding.